Stan Stevens, thank you very much for joining us on USTA.com. A very narrow loss. Must be disappointment, but you did lose to a Grand Slam champion in Svetlana Kuznetsova. Definitely. It was a good match. It was a tough match. I did all I could to you know, hang in there and fight as best I could, so I'm pretty pleased with myself and hopefully next time it'll be the other way around. What sort of experience do you take out of a match like that? People say you learn from your losses. Uh, yeah, you definitely do, but me not having played that much tennis in the last couple of months, I think for me, it was just kind of executing and doing things I had to do for myself rather than focusing on experience or loss, win, whatever. So for me, you know, I just took the things that I needed to do and I fought really well and it didn't turn my way, but, you know, I'm still pleased with how I performed. What's it like playing somebody like that? Because you haven't had the opportunity to play some of the big guns too often. Uh, yeah, definitely. I haven't played that many slams. I haven't played, I haven't played any seated players in the second round of a slam. So you know, for me, it was the first time. So you know, hopefully next time it'll be it'll be better. How, how much opportunity did you give yourself to win that match? Did, did the, I'm talking about within yourself, the belief, etc. Um, I thought I did pretty well on that end because. Um, the whole way I fought, I was hanging in there, I did everything that I could and you know the match wasn't, I didn't get blown off the court or anything like that, it was pretty close so I was pleased with the way I played. It could have been, you know, I think I was positive and I didn't get too down on myself so that really helped a lot and you know just staying focused and concentrated that helps me a lot so you know I just gotta believe more in myself and I think I'll be in the right place. If you had to change anything from what you did in the match, would there be anything and if so what? Uh, probably be a little more aggressive at the beginning. I was kind of iffy and, you know, it was a little windy and a little shaky and I was kind of like, oh, playing a seed, you know, whatever. So, you know, I probably would have just come out swinging more a little bit if I was a little bit looser. But, you know, I've still, I wouldn't change anything. I thought I did pretty well and performed well, so I'm happy. The last time, I think the last couple of times we spoke was towards the latter stages of the junior events that you were in. How has that transition been from, from that level to playing the pro ranks? Uh, it's definitely different and you're playing someone, uh, a Grand Slam champion who's, you know, a really awesome player and then in the juniors you're playing someone who you win the first set 7-6 and then the next set is 6-0. So definitely, you know, it's a big it's a big jump and it's definitely different but I think once you start playing you get used to it and, you know, playing out there like on a show court like that, it's fun. It's, it's, it's a good time. So I think that, you know, it's a definite change but it's a good change and it's a fun change. Okay, from here on, uh, things are over at the Australian Open f for you. What's the next move? What have you got planned? I'll go home. I um, haven't seen my brother for about three weeks or since Christmas. You, are you one of those people that actually wants to see your brother? No, I don't really want to see him. <laughs> it's like, see, the thing is, when I get home, we like have a really good first day and then the rest of the time it's like, oh my god, I hate you, like get away from me, like you're bothering me, get your hand out of my face, like all that stuff. Uh -huh. So I'm looking forward to the first day that I get home to see him. So we'll have a good first day and then I'm not looking forward to the rest of the days, but you know, it is what it is. So, but once you get over seeing your brother and all that, what are the plans? What it is training is in store? What mat tournaments are in store? Uh, still train, do the same thing at UCLA. Then I'll go play Midland, Memphis, Indian Wells, Miami, South Carolina, and then play the rest of the schedule, WGA schedule for the rest of the year. Sloan, thanks very much. Thank you.